Hi everybody, I'm Mark from Route 249. I just got this Ryobi paint station. It is the RAP 200B. It's a complete airless spray unit. Has a half horsepower motor, 2800 pounds per square inch sprayer. It is airless, which means it doesn't take any kind of a compressor to compress it uh, with air and then spray it as a mist. It actually sprays the paint itself. It comes with these attachments I have here. That off to the side. Just wanted to show you the box. It was packed really well. I, I already unpacked it. When it comes, this is undone. It just unscrews and, and it lays down flat. And that's how you can store it. has these wheels. I put them on. Spin it around this way. To get it out it has these pins that goes together. They're apart when you get them. It has the axle and the wheel. I already put the other one together. It just drops in there like so. it in this and then it has a hole in the axle just slips in and there you have it this comes up you just screw it in that locks it there then you've got a portable paint station that you can move around the other things that come with it this hose is already attached, by the way. It is electric for the pump uh, It fits in this, and you can plug into it with an extension cord. Uh, they recommend a three-prong extension cord if you use an extension cord, which uh, it'd be a lot more convenient using a, an extension cord on it. It also comes with this five gallon paint lid and this allows you to keep foreign materials out of your paint while you're using it. Just slips over it. It also comes with a attachment for a garden hose and to do that you just loosen this up and take this one out which is the filter when you're pumping paint you put this in screw your garden hose into it for cleaning it comes with a 25 foot hose this is the high pressure hose it's rating on it, it says 3,300 pounds per square inch. This is a 2,800 pounds per square inch unit. So you want to at least have something uh, 3,000 pounds per square inch or more. If you're going to add on more hose, make sure it's adequate for the pressure that it's going to be under. Otherwise, it's liable to burst. It also comes with a sprayer. The sprays uh, it has a lock. It's a screw that you just screw it, and then it won't spray. Uh, it's a safety device so that you don't accidentally spray yourself. With the high pressure, you could actually inject uh, the paint into your or thinners into your system. So you, that's to avoid any accidental things. So if you're not using it, by all means, turn that on. It, it might save you some headaches later. It has a hook to hang it. The hose comes and attaches
latches here and also here. This is where your adjustment is. I want to show you this before I go on. It has what is called a reversible uh, tip that's in it. This just basically screws on. This. And it has a tip in it that's reversible. This happens to be a 415. They say that the 4 stands for half the distance that it's going to spray. So it's going to spray an 8 inch at about one foot uh, for your spray and uh, it has a 15 thousandths tip which is a medium tip which is what most people would be using if you were using a larger tip it would spray actually a, a wider path and would put more paint out and you're probably asking me well what's a reversible tip mean well, the tip fits in and it has an arrow on it. You probably can't see it from there, but it has an arrow on it and it also has the 415 on it. But the arrow shows which way the paint should be going through it. If it goes through that and it just happens to clog up because the paint has started getting particles in it from just drying out, and it clogs up your tip you can just turn it around and spray it, the stuff out that's clogging it up and then spin it back around it keeps you from having to take it all apart to get to it to clean it so that's actually a pretty nice little feature there it also comes with a roller this roller, it, there's also a rubber ring around here. You want to make sure that that is on there. But you push that on and, oh, i got to unlock it. Open that up, push it in, and it locks in there. This also unlocks it. Then you just squeeze this together. But what happens is you take your sprayer and you can screw it into that. By the way, since we have a high pressure, always use wrenches to tighten this stuff up when you're doing it. But at any rate, what you have is, you can roll now. I happen to be right handed, so I would roll with my right hand. But I can also, now I can hit this while I'm uh, putting this on. Actually, I got this turned around backwards. And that's... It felt funny. But perhaps you would have an application for turning it around backwards. But anyways, you can have it either way. Now, uh, I'm like this. I'm, I'm rolling the stuff out. While I'm rolling, I can just hit some the paint to it. And I don't ever have to go to a paint pan to get any more. It comes with this roller. I didn't put it in there. So that's uh, all the stuff that comes with it. I want to explain a little bit here. You have your prime and you have your pressure and your pressure here is adjustable to where you can have low pressure to high pressure. If you're using stain is real thin you could use a lower pressure or latex you might have some medium to a light pressure. But if you're using something like oil base paint, you might need a little more pressure or something thick like the acrylics. I've seen acrylics that were real thick. You always want to use the lowest pressure that you can for pushing the paint out. On the back, it has a strap for your hose and or you could use it for your extension cord. Oh, these hooks are also for your paint roller. You can use it for hooking on to your whatever you want to hang on it. It's yours. In the center here, we have a recess for a gallon bucket. Then it also has a recess for a square bucket, whichever kind of paint you have to get. And it has this area here for a five gallon bucket so 
pretty much whatever you happen to be using, that's it's, it'll it's mobile. You can still move it without that stuff sliding off or anything. Everything is contained. And here is your on-off switch here. And that, my friend, is the Ryobi RAP200B. We're going to give her a drive around the block, and I'll probably be getting back with you on just how this thing operates and what I think of it. I've been real happy with the other Ryobi stuff that I have purchased in the past, and I am pretty confident I'm going to be happy with this too. I'm going to let you know what I think. Until then, we'll see you next time. I'm Route 249. You take care.